Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you some more of my purchases for spring. So I went not as crazy as my last haul, um, but this has kind of been accumulation over like maybe the last month or so of things that either I've really been wanting or I've seen other bloggers talk about and I was like, ooh, I need to try that. Or just, you know, stuff that I need to have in my collection because I need it. Just kidding. But that's what I tell my poor husband. And I'm sure he's about had it with me. But we are actually saving for a house. And eventually we want to get a new car. And I mean, there's just a lot of stuff coming up, like expense-wise, that, you know, I really do need to, like, pump the brakes when it comes to makeup. I have no self-control whatsoever. So I'm just going to start off with some things that I got at Sephora. And then we'll work our way down to the drugstore stuff. So first I want to talk about these OCC lip tars. Um, I actually did a tutorial and wore this in it. Um, I did one with like some of my new products. And you know, I'm kind of on the fence with them. I was a little bit bummed out because the first time I like squirted it out, it actually was so liquidy. It was like running down my hand and then it was all like the oil stuff. And so, and I feel like, you know, I wore it for a solid three or four hours and it like never felt totally matte on my lips, which was really bizarre. So I'm still making up my mind. I did get the um, color in Hush, and that's the one I've tried out. And then I also got Sebastian, which I was really excited about this color just because it kind of reminded me of um, Lime Crime Cashmere, but more purple. I don't know. So we will see. I will keep you guys posted on these. I was really excited about them, but I feel like my first experience wasn't, like, awesome. So, and you'll have to part of my hair. Uh, it's my day off, so... I let it air dry and then I braided it. <laughs> so Brian loves it though, so whatever. Um, the next thing I got, I'm so flipping stoked about. I have been wanting this forever. Um, it's the Becca Opal Highlighter. And it's actually what I'm wearing right now on my cheekbones. And I think it is amazing. I will tell you the first time I tried it, it ended up all over my face. Um, so yeah, again, Becca has like the best packaging. It's almost like a rubbery matte um dark brown and then this is the highlighter itself and then I'll go ahead and oh, it is like uber pigmented and just it's so pretty I was between this one and moonstone um moonstone um is lighter I really liked this one just because I felt like I could wear it with some of the bright colors that are coming out for spring um and so yeah I got opal finally um another Becca product that I picked up that I'm really stoked about is Becca flower child I know Jacqueline Hill talks about this color a lot. She also talks about Songbird a lot. So I've obviously tried it a few times, but it's just like a really gorgeous pigmented um, sweet pink color. So I don't know if you guys can see it there, but I really, really love these blushes. I've just, I mean, you get what you pay for when it comes to these. They're super expensive. Um, I have three of them now, and so I grabbed the other two that I own just so that you guys can see them up close. This one is in Wild Honey, which is more of like a brownie, um, peachy color, I guess. So, and then this is Damsel Fly, and I just feel like it's a great combination in between the two. Um, they all have a little bit of shimmer to them, but it's not like obnoxious shimmer that's going to be like highlighter cheeks, you know what I mean? Or like too much, or I don't know, they're just the perfect pigmentation and colors, and yeah, so that's Damsel Fly right there. So, I really love these blushes, like really, really love them, so that's why I keep investing in them. My Sephora's only gotten those three shades, so I haven't even gotten to try out, like, Gypsy or Songbird or anything, but so far, so good. I also got my first cream contour kit. So, these are all over the market right now. It's all about who's going to come out with the best one, yada, yada. So, I decided to go with the Laura Mercier one. I just figured this was going to be the best one for my skin type, my skin color, all that good stuff. So, I, I already tried it. I'm actually wearing it today um, as just like a soft contour. And then I tried out the highlight shade. The only one I would have to say that I'm really disappointed with in this palette is the highlight shade. I really feel like nothing comes off. I mean, it is so soft. Subtle. I was really looking forward to like a deep banana shade, but this is just like a really sheer, almost like goldy shimmer, but it's like not even, I don't know, it just, it, 
it didn't do much for me. I did use a stipple brush and tried to use it on top of my cheeks and then I just ended up going with opal because I wanted more of a highlight. But um, I know I'm going to be using this shade to death. Um, and then I also use this one just for a little bit deeper shadowing right here above my ear. So um, I love it. It blends out like a dream. I think it is so beautiful. The quality is fantastic. Like I said, the only one that I'm really disappointed with is going to be... Uh, the highlight number one shade but again like I'll probably use my powder highlights just because I want you to be able to see my highlight from three states away so that is the Laura Mercier contour kit and I'll go ahead and use that in a tutorial soon so you guys can see how I cream contour so I think that does it for all of the stuff that I've picked up at Sephora recently. Like I said, it's not a lot, but it's just a few things that I really wanted or was looking forward to. Um, and then I know I mentioned this in my last video. It's the Makeup Geek shadows that I picked up. I just wanted to shout out Adam again just because, like, it's what I'm wearing today. But I am just so loving these shadows. When I first got them, I was like, yeah, they're good. But I don't know, like, what the fuss is about but honestly now that I've had them for a good month or two and been able to really use them and then I've ordered more colors I actually have Makeup Geek Wisteria in the mail and I'm so excited and I'll show you why in a second um but I'm loving the mermaid and then the um poolside I actually tried to do a video with those but it was so hot in my house and I had like tanned because I was just like oh I just want to warm up and get some vitamin D and I was like burning up during the entire video I was a hot mess you guys would have died and so I just decided I'm not going to post it I'll do another one but I did do like a fun lower lash line blowout and then use um some NYX products that I picked up just to kind of like tie it all together um but I'm really excited for the Wisteria color, and um, I'm loving the foiled shadows, and I'm loving, you know, these warmer shades, obviously. And, yeah, the foiled ones, like, it's such a great investment. They're just, they're really great shadows, and you get a lot of product in them for $6. So, definitely, if you haven't looked into Makeup Geek shadows, I would suggest doing that. And then pick up a Z palette for them, just because they come, like, in little boxes, and they're just little pans. So, um, that's my recommendation okay so next is some stuff that I got at Ulta and I I love my Ulta like I always go in there and I don't spend as much as I spend at Sephora but I always find something that I'm like oh yeah I totally need that or oh yeah I wanted this and I forgot about it and now that's in front of me I need to get it and it's just pathetic but this is something that I'm really super stoked about I had no idea it even existed I've already used it but it's the real technique sculpting brush and it is like the expert face brush the br bristles are a little bit longer here I'm gonna grab it so you can compare so it's really similar to the Expert Face Brush, only it's a little bit longer, and I don't know, I guess maybe I thought it'd be a little bit narrow, but now that I'm looking at them next to each other, not so much. Um, so this is the Expert Face Brush, and this is the Sculpting Brush. Yeah, it's not as wide as the Face Brush, but it's pretty similar. I'll try to hold it up so you guys can see kind of what I'm talking about. It's just a, a hair more narrow. Not a lot, but a little bit. But I love the Expert Face Brush. That's actually what I use to apply my foundation today. I need to wash my Sigma one really bad. Yeah, so I use this for my cream contour today, and it just buffed everything out so nicely um, and applied the perfect amount of product. Granted, I was really careful because it was my first time using my new cream contour, but yeah, it was a good time. So while I was at Ulta, I got some new lippies from NYX as well. I picked up Tiramisu, which is one of the butter glosses. I really, really, really love the butter glosses. So that's Tiramisu right there. It's just super pretty, natural, easy to wear. Kind of goes with any um, lip stick, really, in that mauve family. So that's that one. And then I also got Eclair, which is just like a really pretty dusty pink color. Um, and it's a little bit lighter and just, again, really, really pretty. Adds a little bit of, like, that baby pink um, to your look, which is great. And then I pulled out my existing ones just because I wanted to show you the ones that I already had and, like, why I'm loving them so much. So I have Meringue. This color is so freaking fun for spring. And it's very pigmented. It's almost like a purpley pink. 
and I really love it like really really love it especially like if I have a really natural neutral makeup look or not much makeup on at all I just add that and it's kind of like that fun pop of color for work so I love it the other one is creme brulee and I've had this one for a while now and it's just like a yummy peachy um really really wearable I love these glosses because they don't they don't really smell like anything. They don't really taste like anything. They just glide on. They're super moisturizing. And I also got some of their new high voltage lipsticks. You guys, if you do not own these yet, you need to go get them. They are so great. Oh, I have been wearing Flutter Kiss like nobody's business. And then I put Tiramisu over the top. The pigmentation's crazy good. But it literally feels like a chapstick on your lips, like the most moisturizing chapstick you've ever worn. It is insane. So here, I'll try to like swatch it so you can see it apply. Like, boom. So amazing. So easy to apply. So moisturizing. I'm loving them. So that one is Flutter Kiss. And then I just take Tiramisu over the top and I'll just show you what that looks like. It's like just the perfect lip combination. So that's Flutter Kiss with Tiramisu over the top. I love it. The other one I got was Stone. And the reason I got this one is because Kathleen Light talks about it. But also Nicole from Young, Wild, and Polished. And it's like a darker nude color. Um, so these are the only two that I got. And I really do love this one. Her favorite pairing is the Stone color with a Claire on top. Um, so here, I'll do that for you so you can see it. But she like swears by that pairing. And it is really pretty. It's like nude. I don't even know. So that's it right there. And I love it. So I'm really super stoked about these lipsticks. I want to go ahead and pick up some more because I'm, I really do love them. They're great. While we're on lip products, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of the things that I got from Essence at Ulta as well. Uh, so I really steered clear of Essence for a long time just because of price point. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to like these products. I'd rather just save my money and get like higher end products or NYX or you know, a line that I'm comfortable with and that I know is going to be good. But I will tell you right now, I was I was wrong about you, Essence. Um, so these are $1.49, and this one's called Wish Me Rose, and their lip liner is phenomenal. Um, I would say it's just as good as, you know, Milani lip liners, NYX lip liners, um, and I find myself reaching for this over my... Uh, my MAC lip liner sometimes. So this is the next shade in 06 Satin Mauve. Got a little thicker uh, swatch for ya. So that's Satin Mauve, which is just like that perfect nude lip. And then the last one is 05 Soft Berry, and Casey Holmes talks about this color all the time, you guys. And so it's just that darker color in the middle. Um, really, really great for lining your lips if you want to do something darker, and then you can do something a little bit softer for your lipstick or your gloss in the middle. But she pairs this quite a bit with some gloss, I don't know which one, but she swears by the soft berry. So I was like, hmm, Casey likes it, I'm gonna like it. So, and then, because the Taylor was talking about, I don't know if you guys have watched Taylor's channel, but she's adorable and really funny and she loves Essence. So, um, and but I feel like she's really, really honest, which is really nice. So I actually got some of the matte lip creams as well. Um, it does drive me crazy because they put matte, like M-A-T-T, -T, instead of M-A-T-T-E. Like, drives me crazy. Put the extra letter in there, guys. So anyways, it's the matte lip cream, like matte the boy. Um, but these smell like cake. They're so yummy. Um, I'm still deciding if I like the texture of them, but that's the first one there in the middle. Sorry, that's like a really hideous swatch. Uh, let me see if I can get it better. Okay. So that one is Velvet Rose in the middle, and it's just like a really pretty pink. It would go good with that Wish Me a Rose uh, lip liner. The next one is Coral Mousse, and it's just like, it's pretty bright. I tried wearing it one day, and I was like, wow, like this is bright, but it's really pretty. So that is Coral Mousse right there next to it. They're pretty pigmented, um, not as pigmented as I would like. They kind of remind me of the NYX um, matte glosses, I guess. Are they called matte glosses? I don't know. The matte ones that look like the better glosses, but they're, ah, what are they called? The thing I will say is they're not drying, which is kind of nice. They kind of feel like moussey or foamy on. I don't really know if that's the right word, but this is the last one. This is probably my favorite. This is in 06 Soft Nude. 
and it's just a really pretty mauve color right there. So I really like these. Um, I would say that the soft nude is probably my favorite. It seems to be the most pigmented and the most and the best for like my skin tone and everything. But going forward into spring, like they're all going to be really cute and good. So we'll just see like if I use them or if I reach for them, and I don't know, I'll just keep you guys posted, I guess. So those are my little essence purchases. Um, like I said, these were a dollar forty nine, and then the <laughs> lip glosses are only two ninety nine. So not like breaking the bank with that one. So while I was at Ulta, I also purchased um, these NYX Prism eyeshadows. I love these. I actually did that um, look last night with this mermaid one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's not as pigmented as I would like. Um, I tried like wetting my brush and using it, but there's the shade right there. It is like metallic-y mint green with like an undertone of blue almost or almost like a yellowy neon I don't even know like a lime green undertone or something like it is so gorgeous I love it and I tried blending it with um those makeup geek colors just to like deepen it up a little bit and it was really pretty so I love it and the main reason I got it I'll just show you guys so is because I got some of the colored mascaras so this is the green one it, oh, it's called Mint Julep, and I put it on my bottom lashes, and it was so freaking awesome. It looked great. I loved it. Um, so I kind of paired those together, and then with those Makeup Geek shadows, and then when I get Wisteria in, I'm going to go ahead and use it with this one in Forget Me Not, which is like purple, which is great for blue eyes. Just makes them pop. So to also go with that, I got this guy in Frostbite. I like really wanted to get the Melanie one. I was like, Chris, you have enough of that type of stuff. Like get out of your comfort zone already. So I got Frostbite and it doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's freaking awesome. It's like this really pretty frosty purple. It'd be an awesome like inner corner highlight or like somehow incorporate it into the look. But yeah, it's like an iridescent, super soft lilac color, almost it almost comes off like baby blue, like ice blue, but it's got enough purple in it that, yeah, it looks really good. So to go with those colors, I also got two of the NYX waterproof retractable eyeliners. Everyone's talking about the new gel eyeliners from NYX, and I can't find them anywhere yet. But I got this one in the shade Aqua Green. So there's that, and it's just kind of like a pretty iridescent deep aqua green. And then I got the one in purple. So I just thought these would be cool to put in my waterline, um, and I swatched quite a few. I just want to make sure like I had fun ones that would go good with those mascaras and the shadows, and I don't know, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone, you guys, so just wish me luck and bear with me. And then I also got this one. I had to have this one. It was in Silky Cashmere, and it is like the prettiest um, light rose goldy deliciousness. I don't know. I love it. I was like, yes, I will use this. Last but not least, I got, um, this teal eye eyebrow pencil. I'm going to use it for my eyes or like my waterline. Um, but I love the teal. I just think it's really cool. Um, all of those like 90s colors are making their way back in. So I was pretty stoked about those. And then I also got this um, scandalized pencil from Rimmel in the color brown. I have my black one and I love it. They're just so creamy and they just like mm, rub on like butter. So I'll just swatch it so you can see how amazing it is. But yeah, I mean it just is like and you're done. And I didn't have any brown eyeliner pencils, which I thought was weird. So I got that one because I know I like that brand. Okay, speaking of makeup wipes, these are the NYX makeup wipes. They're truly, like, amazing. Gently and easily clean skin, um, gentle cloths, infused with aloe vera extract to help with deep hydration and moisture, great for on-the-go travel. I will tell you right now, every time I use these, my face feels really good afterwards. It feels, like, really moisturized. Some of them have, like, too much alcohol. They can burn a little or, like, dry out your skin. I always feel like I almost need to, like, rinse off my face after because I'm, like, is this real life? Like, why does it feel so soft? So, I love them. I've gone through a few of them. They're only three bucks. They're fantastic. I also got their daily brush cleaner. I know nothing about this, but if you guys have used this before, let me know. I just got it because I'm going to start freelancing more. I've been passing out more of my cards. Um, I am going to be helping with a wedding or two and doing some prom makeup and stuff. And I was just like, oh, I just need something like quick on the go that I can disinfect with. The next thing I want to talk about is Milani. I have 
Let's see, Rose Dioro, I have Luminoso, and I have Dolce Pink, I think. And I just got this one in Berry and More. Um, so pretty. It's almost purpley. I don't even know. <laughs> it's so pretty though. It has like some goldy purple. It's on my middle finger. It's not as um, intense as some of their other blushes. It's just really natural and pretty. Um, and it's like, okay, if I was just, it's like a bronzy pinky purple. I really, really like this color though. I wore it on my cheeks and then wore it with that tiramisu um, butter gloss and it was so gorgeous. So definitely try it out and see if it changes color. I haven't had any issues with any of the other ones oxidizing, but this one I feel like did a little bit, but I don't care. I love it. It's so pretty. And then I know I have mentioned the Milani lipsticks to you guys because I wore matte passion in uh, my winged liner tutorial, but um, I did pick up some more. So there's Matte Passion again, and still I think that's my favorite one. It's insane. And then I got Matte Confident. I did wear this one to work, and people loved it. It's like more of that true red color. Um, I will say I feel like it's almost got like a brick undertone and on me, I almost feel like it's more of like a fall time color. So this one might have to hang on till fall just because the matte um, passion is better for my skin tone for this time of year anyways. And then matte naked, which is like a my lips but better color. I've been wearing this one non friggin stop. I love it. It's just a really pretty natural um, nudie color. Mm, I love it. It's like so good. Don't waste your money on Matte Innocence. I picked up Matte Innocence. It was horrible. I actually returned it. I was like, this has got to be a joke. Here is Matte Orchid. I haven't even swatched this yet, you guys. Like, brand new in the tube. Swatching for you right now. So, Matte Orchid. Oh, it is, like, pretty intense, but it's really, really fun. So, um, it's more of, like, a purple pink. I love it. So, it'll be really fun with just, like, a nice, soft... I look or even if I just did like black liner and a new like nude transition shade and then just a pop of pink lips yes and the other one is matte diva and <laughs> I don't think I swatched this one yet either I just like saw it and was like you me yes we're going home so this is matte diva and it is like that perfect Barbie pink it is so bright but it's so freaking cute I'm excited I think it'll be fun so those are all of my Milani um, lipsticks, and they're from the MAC collection, and I love them. I think they're so much fun. I think I'm going to have a blast with them. These makeup wipes, okay? Like, it's gone. Done. They're amazing. The last few products are a little more boring. They're not as exciting as, like, the lip products and stuff, but they're products that I'm really excited about personally just because I feel like I've been looking for good drugstore concealers, a good drugstore foundation, a good drugstore primer. Um, and a good drugstore brow product and I finally found it like I found it and I'm so excited you guys this brow stylist plumper from L'Oreal we need a moment of silence like OMG so I don't even really need to fill in my brows when I use this stuff I do it anyways just because I kind of want to like you know shape them out a little bit but this is nuts like it adds to my brows it fills them in, it's the perfect color, it has the perfect little comb applicator to it, and it just goes on like magic. I love it. I did try the brow drama brow drama one from Maybelline and it was horrible. Like it was like blah and then I'm like sitting there trying to spread out combing through it the whole time and it was so frustrating. So with this, I feel like I'm like swoop, swoop, done. It's awesome. So and it comes in three different colors. Right? Yes, which is the light to medium and I like this because my hair is blonder towards the end but my brows are darker and then like my roots are darker but I feel like this kind of gives my brows like an ombre effect. Ombre hair, ombre brows, you know, melt. It's a melt or an ombre. I don't know what it is. So anyways, I can't say enough good things about that product. Casey Holmes uses it and loves it and she's like, my girl, I love her. And so I was like, okay, fine. I'll go get it. And then Lash Sensational from Maybelline. I'm really loving this mascara. I didn't know if I'd like it, um, but I love it. The brush is kind of cool. It's kind of different. It has like bigger spikes on the bottom and then smaller spikes 
on the top or like in the curved part um, just to kind of separate your lashes. I have noticed that it kind of leaves like the tubes that kind of like elongate your lashes which is different for me um, but it's the mascara I'm wearing today. I really like it. I feel like it's really good at separating the lashes. Maybelline's kind of been getting an A plus in my book lately. I honestly haven't had Maybelline products like I don't even know, since high school probably, but I did get the Master Prime. Um, this is their primary base. It's the Blur and Smooth one, and I'm not like 110%. This is my holy grail. I love it more than anything because I still use this, and then I use my Smashbox one, um, the Prime Perfection one, or whatever it's called. What is it called? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. I still use my Smashbox Pore Minimizing one, so this just keeps everything a little bit I don't know, more in place in my T-zone area. I don't know if I'll ever leave it alone because I do love it. But these two together has been really, really good for me. I feel like this one's really moisturizing. This one keeps everything in place in my T-zone area where it needs to stay in place. So together, they're a happy little couple. Next, I got the um, Master Concealers. So, funny story. Went to the store and got this one after I watched Luster Lux. Um, Katie from Luster Lux uses this. After, if you're not subscribed to her channel, go check out her channel. She's so gorgeous. Her stuff is like really good quality, really beautiful. She's really talented. Um, and she just like seems like a cool person. So um, anyways, she's been using this and loving it. So I picked it up in the same shade as her. I got the light medium one and I freaking love it. It's what's underneath my eyes today. It's amazing. So I went back to the store and got the medium one too. So I'm using this with my foundation to help with any blemishes or any dark spots or just any areas that need extra coverage. Um, so I am so stoked about these. I love them. Last but not least is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the matte and poreless one and I'm wearing this today I put it on at like 10 30 this morning it is now 4 17 wow so I've almost been wearing it for six hours I haven't done any touch-ups or anything the only thing I did was put on some lipstick for this video and I really like it I have noticed it's settled into some of my expression lines on my forehead but for the most part it's um staying together pretty good let me grab a mirror so yeah i feel like i'm getting a little bit oily like around my nose area um and it's starting to break up just a little bit around there but nothing a little powder can't fix and then like i said it's kind of settling into my expression lines just right here and it's just these two. I'm in the shade 310. So anyways, um, I really like the product so far. I've been wearing it for six hours, like I said, and haven't done any touch-ups. I did set it with the Fit Me powder um, and I'll probably have to powder again. I probably should have powdered before this video, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. Okay guys, so that wraps up everything that I picked up recently, but also there is so much fun products out there. I would really encourage you guys to get out and start experimenting with colors. That's what I'm gonna try to start doing. So wish me luck. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions for me or any requests, just let me know. I'm really trying to keep these videos coming. I've been working like a mad person. And then for our Easter, which I'm really excited about, Brian and I are going to go home and ride my horses and see my family and my friends. And I seriously can't wait. So this weekend, I'll do my best um, to get something posted for you guys, even if I need to film it early and then have it post this weekend. I'm really trying to keep at least one video a week coming for you guys. So I'm loving your guys' comments and all of your love likes and your shares and it just means the world to me. Thank you so much um, and I will keep you guys in the loop and just thank you so much for all of your support and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!